good day. Today we are going to learn about the C major chord. How do we indicate the C major chord on our guitar? Okay, so before we start, the C major chord is made up of the C, the E, and the J. And you must know that there are different ways that we can what represent the C major chord on the guitar. But first of all, we are going to learn about this way. Okay. The C major chord is made up of the C, the E, and the J. Okay. So we know that we have E in our C. So we're going to start from this string over here. That is the down string here. The down string here. Okay. So once we get that, the down string, we've, we've already learned in our previous videos that the down string is our hot E. That's the last one over here at the bottom. It's our E. So play it open like this. Then we go to our B string. B string. The B string is after the E string. Okay. Then put your hand, this finger over here, the finger after the thumb, put it on the C here, this C. Okay, so let's go to our next string, which is what? Our J. So our J, the J is part of the C major chord. So we are going to play it open. No finger is going to be on the J. Okay, so let's go to the next string, which is our what? D. So for our D, let's locate our E. And we know that from your D, you go to E flat and then to E. Okay, so from our D, we go to E flat to E. Okay, so now we have our C here and then our E. Okay, so we have a C and E. So let's locate our last note. Our last note is going to be on the A string. And let's locate our C. Our C. C. Okay, so on the A string, from your A you come to what? B flat. B flat to B and then to C. C. C is here, the C. Okay, so put this finger on the C down here, the next one on the E here, and the last one too on your C, over here. Okay, so we're going to have something sounding like this. So hold it tight to prevent the strings from muffling. Okay, so the strings will sound neat like this. Okay, so join us at another time for our G major chord. How to represent the G major chord and the guitar. Okay, see ya.